hey guys welcome back uh, in the previous video i was talking about uh, the basics of channel estimation and i was mentioning that uh, to do channel estimation we need uh, uh, pilot symbols or reference signal, uh, reference symbols and uh, to get a better channel estimate i was telling that uh, we should have a better snr or the noise should be low or or if we have if we can transmit the pilot symbols on uh, more symbols and then with certain strategy we can uh, uh, decode the channel or we can uh, estimate the channel very well okay so i was mainly telling that let's say if you have one two up to ten symbols and the presumption is the channel is constant for all the ten symbols let's say h then if we can transmit to pilot not only on one symbol let's say on multiple symbols okay then we can estimate uh, the channel uh, with more accuracy that's what i was mentioning right so in this case what what can i write about the uh, equation y1 is equal to h x1 plus n1 so y2 is equal to h x2 plus uh, n2 like that i can write you know let's say if i have a hell number of uh, symbols for which we are transmitting the pilot then can i write like this okay so now i was mentioning that uh, uh, we can go for uh, um, certain strategy to decode this h right first uh, i was telling that we can uh, divide this first equation by uh, 1 by x1 and then uh, once if you do the same thing for all the symbols then we can do some kind of averaging uh, so that we can get a better estimate h right so let us see this uh, with uh, the least square channel estimation okay so these are the estimators which are available uh, from estimation detection theory subject so let us try to apply that uh, and uh, see whether our intuition will match us uh, with the optimal solution given by the least square estimate so for that I have taken the uh, training symbols across uh, the L, L symbols. Uh, so this is the channel model. This is how it looks like. I have written uh, uh, this in the vector form. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, this particular equation, if you modify the in the vector form, then it will it will uh, become something like this. So now my system model will become like this. Since H is uh, just uh, uh, you know uh, one value. I have taken it uh, outside. So for this one, uh, we, we can say that there are L equations, okay, and there is only one unknown that is H. Solution may or may not exist, okay. If all uh, each of these uh, equations can be treated as one one uh, line, right? So if uh, this this is something like y is equal to um, uh, mx plus c, right? So these lines can um, can be there. Uh, in any direction if they don't intersect at one point then solution might not exist but let's say if there are multiple lines and uh, the, they are all meeting at one point then definitely solution exists and we don't know let us figure out with the um, that's why let us figure out with the, the best fit okay best fit of all the equations that is uh, when we say we need uh, you know least square estimate so this can be uh, done uh, with the best fit uh, when uh, we can say that uh, the error is minimized. So what is the error over here? Um, error is y bar minus uh, xp bar h norm square. This will become my uh, mean square error. Okay. So I need to minimize that uh, under the argument h. That's when I will get my h at. So how to do this one? I will not go to the derivation, but uh, you can go to the derivation. So uh, expand this, you know, then derive, then differentiate with respect to h and equate to zero. Then uh, you will finally get the least square estimate. All right. You can go to the derivation. This is how you will get the solution. This can also be told as uh, you know the ML estimate, maximum likelihood estimate, uh, because. Uh, to say maximum likelihood we need to consider uh, noise as gaussian and uh, you know once it is gaussian we can take the likelihood uh, uh, log likelihood function uh, based on this gaussian distribution and from log likelihood function if you try to maximize uh, uh, the log likelihood then um, finally you will see that uh, that solution also arrives similar to the top least square estimation okay so in which case i can say this solution is a least square estimation 
when uh, noise is defined with not is when noise is not defined with any distribution when noise is uh, uh, set as gaussian this uh, the same solution is can be told as a maximum likelihood estimate all right so now we know the solution so from this solution let us try to uh, you know um, calculate my uh, my intuition uh, let, let i mean for from here let us try to calculate the uh, final expression and uh, let us try to see whether that matches with uh, my intuition uh, our intuition um, related answer or not so this will be xp okay right this is the uh, estimator now the thing is so i will just for the sake of clarity i will just take uh, the two symbols okay so then how does this look like so this would look like uh, first let me expand this mm. so whole inverse uh, x bar transpose xp bar into h plus uh, xp bar transpose xp bar whole inverse into xp bar transpose then my n bar correct so these two gets cancelled okay and then uh, um, i will have just h plus this quantity i said i am going to take uh, just uh, uh, two symbols right so here uh, um, i will just make an assumption that because in the earlier video if i am taking only two symbols what will be my uh, this one it was looking like this right and if i want to get uh, my uh, h from first equation i used to divide y1 by x1 is equal to h plus uh, n1 by x1 so this inversion right now i will not go to the design of uh, uh, this pilots but uh, i will say that this 1 by x1 is equal to uh, x1 conjugate okay i will choose my x1 such way such a way that 1 by uh, x1 uh, will be can be written as just x uh, uh, x1 conjugate maybe i, I can say uh, right now e to the power of 5 1 okay so then how can i write uh, this particular equation okay so since this is just e to the power of j 5 1 this uh, quantity will become um, since i have taken only two symbols so how can i write so e to the power of j uh, 5 1 e to the power of uh, uh, j um, 5 2 so this will become e to the power of j uh, 5 1 e to the power of j phi 2 okay minus minus so, so basically this will become uh, if you if you multiply this will become you know 1 by 2 so then how does this look like this one will would look like uh, n1 x1 star plus n2 x2 star got it so it is whatever the estimator uh, we have got here this square estimator uh, that is similar to whatever the uh, solution that we thought via intuition right so you divide uh, th this is this is similar to uh, you know you divide uh, the equation one with uh, uh, this particular x1 in this case um, you know x1 conjugate okay uh, maybe you know you, i can i can write down the intuition answer also from this okay now whatever uh, hat i got this one this is based on the least square estimate now let me write here uh, you know the intuition answer so what what do what i have to write because now 1 by uh, x is equal to x1 conjugate so i am writing it here so this one will become h plus uh, n1 into x1 conjugate okay x1 and x1 conjugate will become 1 okay that's how we have chosen e to the power of j uh, phi 1 so then my second answer, i mean second equation will become into x2 star i was telling that once you perform this then take the average okay so if you take the average h1 h2 by 2 which will become h only then if you take the average of this then it will become n1 x1 star plus uh, into x2 star by 2 if you see these two equations are same right so this is uh, this is how we can say that uh, in our uh, you know practical system we can implement 
let us see more to it uh, in the upcoming videos related uh, to 4G or 5G uh, channel estimation algorithms. For now, you, what you can say is, um, you know, the least square estimate solution, which is an optimal solution, uh, yeah, will ma is matching to the solution that we thought uh, based on the intuition. So this is how we can uh, proceed with uh, the channel estimation. Okay. So the two steps are one is to perform, uh, uh, you know, the inverse operation uh, with the pilot that we have transmitted. The second one is uh, to take uh, uh, the averaging. Okay, so let us also try to see, you know, why uh, this will give better answer. So for that, uh, what we can do is you take the mean square error formula. Okay, these are the equations which we had considered, and this this was the final uh, um, H hat expression I got. So in this clearly, this is expected. This is the error, right? So this expectation of whole square would give me my, my mean square error. If I expand this and uh, uh, if I solve this equation, then I would get this particular value. And finally, my mean square error will be this one. So as you can clearly see, uh, this is equal to like uh, L by SNR. Sorry, uh, sorry. This is equal to 1 by L into SNR. So if SNR is very good, then uh, my error is less. Even when I have more number of samples or more number of sim symbols where I would have transmitted my pilot, then also my mean square error will be low. Got it? So that's why, uh, you know, my accuracy will increase when I would transmit the pilots on more number of symbols. So there is a more to it. You can say when L tends to infinity, the power of noise becomes zero and the error is zero. Okay. I hope you got the clarity uh, in this particular video uh, on how uh, the intuition solution we thought about in the previous video uh, matches with that of the least square uh, uh, estimate solution and the least square estimation the least square estimate solution is the optimal solution and uh, and with with equations also we saw you know with uh, the transmission of uh, pilot symbols on more number of symbols uh, we can get a better accuracy Okay, so in the upcoming video, I think uh, we can talk uh, uh, more about how to design these uh, pilot uh, symbols. Okay, what can be the pilot symbols and what, what is actually considered in our practical 4G, 5G system. Okay, then later on we can talk about how exactly, um, uh, you know, uh, we can perform the channel estimation in our practical system. Thank you very much. If you're looking for more videos, please do subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye.